Hi and welcome to your energy reading for the 19th to the 25th of August. My name is Vicky Paul and I'm an intuitive and an artist and I use art and creativity to channel energy and to bring through clarity, guidance, growth and well-being. And this week is, if you watched last week's um, energy reading, then we talked about how the energies were kind of heavy and quite emotional and I'm just resharing that virtual hug because if it was like that for you then I share that <laughs> process. There were tears last week, there were tears and in fact there have been tears this morning um, which is why this is being shared on Monday rather than over the weekend because it's been quite emotional and I feel this is a lot to do with this process of the energies moving towards today's full moon. So there's a lot of energy around loss and not just sort of loss and death in, in, in that, those senses. It's, it's as much as the sort of loss of opportunity, the, the release, the letting go, the endings, and also the sort of process of where do I want to go? Where do I feel I want to belong? And these energies have been lingering for a few weeks. So there is a bit of repetition in the energy from the first couple of weeks in August. But I really feel that the good news is as we are heading towards the end of the week into the weekend, things will start to get brighter and you will feel a lot lighter. But I do still feel there is two kind of key themes to the energies this week and that is this kind of releasing and letting go and allowing those heavy energies to come up and just honouring them for what they are and moving through them as best you can and for some of you it's going to be pretty heavy and there's going to be tears and emotion but these are even though it doesn't feel at the time and I've said this before it's it's never an easy process to shift energy and emotion that's been stored in you for quite some time. We're very good at um, shoving challenging experiences, challenging memories, challenging emotions, she's, emotions, she's, emotions um, stuffing them down, putting them in a box and, and ignoring them, but they will only stay there for so long. And the universe is always trying to support us on this journey by... Um, offering us opportunities to recognize and release and process these emotions. You know, I am guilty of this as well. I ignore them <laughs> until sometimes it's just too uh, much to ignore them and you don't get a choice. Um, so this week is about allowing that to come up and using the kind of springboard of tonight's full moon, that's the 19th of August, to really support you in that. So it is going to feel emotional and you will feel triggered by things and you know and this is things that you'll watch on social media it could be um the way somebody speaks to you just the general feeling when you are milling about during the day and it might creep up and it might surprise you you might sort of feel that you're actually all right and it's just one of these meh days you're just getting on with life and it may well be that just something happens and you just feel this rise of emotion come within you you know and if it's appropriate at the time then allow it to come up if it's not um, because you're at work or you're in a situation where you you, you know you, you don't feel comfortable or supported to allow that emotion to come up, then promise yourself that you're going to take a bit of time this evening or later in the day to really honour what is wanting to come up and ultimately what wants to be released for you. And th this is really going to help you in so many areas of life because our energy, if, if our energy in our body is not flowing in a, in a sort of free capacity we get stuck or we go into sort of the cycle of loop where we repeat the same patterns and this can be you know over a short cycle but sometimes for some of us this is you know over a long period of time you know and you may find this oh my god where did the last 20 years go you know my, my life has not really evolved in the way that I had hoped it would um but again it could be something much shorter so take what resonates these are general readings but I feel that whatever your loop is and we all have a loop, you know, it's work, it's relationships, it's, you know, our identity, it's opportunity, it's our growth, it's success, it's belonging, all health for some of us. You know, it's it's all these different areas in life that we feel 
challenged by, we um, don't allow the forces of nature to come in and support us to move through that. We are struggling with acceptance of where we're at at the moment. We live very much um, in the future and the past. You know, we kind of rehash the past and we sort of fantasize and visualize about the future. And, and the energies at the moment, I'm getting a sense that it's really about, you know, building this up and, and creating this sort of momentum. I spoke last week about the sort of waves of emotion and it feels that these energetic um, encouragements, I'm going to call them <laughs> nicely. Uh, for some of us, it's going to be a big, hard shove. Um, but these energetic encouragements are really about bringing to the surface that which needs to be released to enable you to pause, just to pause and then allow the answers to come up. I feel there's, for many of us, there's two choices, two paths, two options, two thought processes, two people, two jobs, two places to live. You know, there's two choices. And this pause that we are being encouraged to find ourselves in will only come if we allow the energies and the emotions to be released, whatever that means for you and whatever these emotions are for you. For some of you, it could be anger. For some of you, it could be tears. For some of you, it could just be sort of minor kind of semi hysteria, crazy, wah, just, you know, wah, just not yourself. Um, and I feel if we allow that to just come up and be released and just to let it go without judgment, there's been an, a, an energy of judgment that has been just tinkering in the background um, last week and previous weeks um, in this month where we criticize and judge yourself. We feel vulnerable for um, our thoughts, our feelings, our desires, um, how we behave, how we present ourselves. And I really feel that this is a, a beautiful opportunity to really process that and allow the genuine authenticity and truth of who we are to feel safe, to rise to the surface. We all spend so much of our lives trying to fit in and fit a mould, either something that's been set by parents, by ancestors, by society, by peers, by our own childhood um, visions of what we wanted our life to be and who we saw ourselves with, how we um, wanted to be of service to the world. And I feel very much that this year, sort of overarching this year is about really uncovering what that is and speaking to people and I feel it in the energies as well there's been just a lot of man you know this kind of boredom with life or just is this it you know it just feels like a treadmill you know there's nothing exciting and a lot of that is mirrored by things that have been happening in terms of you know the COVID the pandemic what's happening you know globally with the wars and just this kind of general things not feeling like they're in a state of flow. You know, there's a lot of resistance around at the moment, a lot of challenge, a lot of kind of edgy energy. And this is, you know, it has to go somewhere. It's like a volcano. It just kind of bubbles under the surface. And then eventually it has to find a route out. And I feel that for some of you, this full moon is a real opportunity to allow that energy to come out. Um, you know, I'm holding a crystal, use crystals to help anchor you. You know, if you don't do any full moon rituals, then find yourself in uh, some nature today. Even better, if you can take your shoes off and just wander about on the grass. If you use crystals, go out into the garden, place them on the soil, leave them overnight. Um, you can also do some rituals for letting go and releasing, you know, write the things, the people, the places, the situations onto a piece of paper that you want to release with love out of your life and then you can either safely burn them um, or you can rip them up. There's no right or wrong way of doing it but just find a way to help you process and release that energy and I feel that once you do that you're going to find yourself in this kind of, it's almost going to be like oh there's this kind of heavy release of you know, for some of you, you might feel drained emotionally or just physically, mentally, there's a kind of just a down inward 
um, sort of turning inward energy of just like, oh, right, I need to take a pause. And this is a really lovely invitation to just pause. We're always doing, doing, doing and trying to make paths and ways for the future. And that is absolutely necessary to, to do that. But I feel this week after Monday, just that take a few days to just pause if you can, unwind. I know we've all got careers and lives that we need to do, but find some time to just pause and down tools and just spend some you time. And then if you do that, I feel as you head towards the weekend, it's going to feel lighter and brighter. And you're going to feel um, that you'll get the answers to these choices. You know, the and I, I'm getting the words, the, the road less travelled, take the load, the road less travelled. And this is also an encouragement to not repeat the same choices by choosing the safe option by choosing the familiar option by choosing the safe person the familiar person take what resonates it's about the road less traveled and this is going to tuck into that desire for some kind of adventure for some kind of new some kind of not more of this which is what a lot of us have been feeling recently so there will be a wee bit of resistance maybe a bit of fear because it's unfamiliar but if you do some grounding work, if you really tap into the root chakra energies, wear red, wear orange, the colours red and orange are kind of the root and sacral chakras. These are really sort of grounding colours. They will help you energetically to ride this wave this week. Um, but it does feel lighter and it does feel brighter towards the end of the week. And thank God, quite frankly. <laughs> It's about time. Um, so that are your th these are your energies for the week of the 19th until the 25th of August. Thank you so much for watching. If they do resonate, then please do let me know in the comments. I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe and of course share this video with anyone you think would be interested. So thank you again and wishing you and sending you a big hug for next for this week. Lots of love.